Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of interesting bodybuilding stories, but the first two stories in this video are bad news, sad news for bodybuilding. Well, first of all, Guduito is out. He's out of the Italy and the Spain shows. Very, very unfortunately, we won't get to watch Guduito against Nathan Diasha, against Regan Grimes, Blessing a Bodybuilder, and some other great bodybuilders. Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. Maybe we're gonna watch Godvito later in one of the US shows, such as Legion Sports Festival. I hope that's gonna happen, but unfortunately, we won't get to see Godvito during these European shows. Italy, Spain, and I believe also France. Those three shows are left. Why? I'm sure you already heard at this point, but let's read what Gudvito said in this post that he made. Now, this is Google translation, I don't know how accurate it is, but you can get the idea. Uh, he says, friends, I'll share my news with you, the bad news is that I've been denied my European visa and won't be allowed to enter the championships in Italy and Spain. Good news is I have been approved for US visa and will still be preparing myself to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. US visa will let me pick any show championships this year and he says that he's adjusting his goal and that at the moment he is overwhelmed mentally and he struggles so much to get in shape, he worked very hard to win but he says that his goal is still to qualify for the Mr. Olympia, he is not giving up and he has no time to complain about the problems and he also says that in another 15 or 17 days, he's gonna become a father. His wife is gonna give birth to his son. So that's awesome. That's great news. Uh, and I think this is actually for the best. Because he's gonna be with his wife when she gives birth to his son. Which is definitely something he shouldn't miss. And he's gonna have an opportunity to qualify for the Mr. Olympia later in one of the US shows. So, as you guys heard, his European visa was denied. Now, I noticed a lot of comments, a lot of people saying that something smells fishy, that this might be, I don't know, an excuse for him to skip these shows, maybe he's lying. How does it even make sense that he is denied in Europe, but allowed in US? It does smell fishy a little bit, but... For those of you who don't know how this works, well, I'm from Europe, but Serbia is not a part of the European Union. So up until 2009, we also had to get a visa to travel to European Union countries. Unfortunately, we did not become a part of European Union, not yet, even though we are trying very hard, but since 2009, we are allowed to travel all over the Schengen countries without visa. Russia, not the case, and you guys know that Gudvito is from Russia, so if he wants to travel to European Union, he needs a visa, but apparently he was denied. Why would he be denied in Europe and not denied in the US? Who the hell knows? Is it the possibility that he is lying? Sure. Do I believe him? Yeah, I believe him. Why not? He was already ready. He was supposed to compete in 10 days. Why wouldn't he do the show? As he says, his wife is going to give birth to his son in 15 to 17 days. So he probably could have managed to compete at the Italy and then be with his wife if he wanted to. Maybe he decided to just give up on it, to be with his wife the entire time until she gives birth. And he thought uh, being denied a visa is a better excuse. I don't know, but I believe him. In any case, we are probably gonna see him still this year. And he did post a couple of really freaking amazing physique updates, such as this one, front double bicep of Good Vito looks absolutely insane right now, I mean, check this guy out in this freaking pose, I, I've seen what Regan Grimes looks like, I've seen what Nathan Diash, you guys all saw it, and I don't know, I, I think, I mean, this guy looks more impressive, at least in these shots, would he be able to beat these guys and to win these two shows if he competed? Who, I mean, I, he's a wild card, you don't know, you don't know until you see him compared to the other guys, but based on what I'm seeing in his physique updates, yeah, I think he would win. This is just front double, let's check out the, the side shots, we also got a side chest. Damn, man, even crazier, even freakier, I mean, look at his side chest. Point to me, what is he lacking, what is a weakness, what uh, muscle is too small for Nathan Diesha and Regan Grimes? Where is he not conditioned? What is out of proportion? What is the, the lack? Where is the lack of balance? 
what's asymmetrical? Like, it's really hard to find any weaknesses. I mean, quads from the side look crazy, hamstrings as well, glutes are showing separation, biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest, oh, everything flows so well, the aesthetics are there, the waist is under control, everything is spot on. This guy would have probably won these shows, even though it's his pro debut, I can definitely see him winning it. It's not like Texas Pro and Carlos Thomas Jr. who was supposed to battle against the top Olympians like Andrew Jack and freaking Hunter Labrada. No, this is much different. I mean, Nathan Diasha hasn't been competing for a while and he has a torn bicep. Regan Grimes was never a top 15 Olympian. So, I mean, looking at the photos and again, look at, try to find the flaws. Even from the back, he looked, he looks amazing. Yeah, the back is kind of like his weak point, but it's not as weak as Carlos Thomas Jr., for example, from the back. No, no, this back is actually pretty good. In, in the back lat spread, he looks crazy wide, but in the back double as well, he looks, he looks really good. So, uh, I don't see why he would lose, why he would not win these two shows. I mean, sadly, we will never find out. And because of that, I can say whatever the hell I want, because I can't make a mistake, we will never find out, but I hope we will see him at that Legion Sports Fest. I don't know who else is showing up there, who else is doing that show, if you guys know, tell me in the comment section down below. I hope he's gonna have some good competition over there. I mean, it's a US show, so he's probably gonna have some heavy hitters. So if he does that, and I believe he will, that's gonna be great, but unfortunately in 10 days, we won't get to watch him. It's gonna be a great battle between Nathan Diash and Regan Grimes. Maybe Blessing of Audi, but maybe some other guys. But once again, very, very, extremely, sadly, not good Vito. If you guys are looking for a really good pre-workout, Old School Labs has something amazing for you guys. It's called Blast Max. First of all, I gotta say, it tastes so good. I mean, Old School Labs has such a high quality that everything tastes amazing, and this one has so many great flavors. You can try it out. Also, it has really good ingredients. You can check the ingredient list, and everything is really well dosed. If you guys don't trust me, you don't have to trust me. You can try it, and if you like it, keep using it. If you don't like it, you can even get your money back. But really, it works so well. It's an amazing pre-workout. So the link is down below, just click on the Old School Labs website and search Blast Max. And guys, I promise you, you won't regret it. And just make sure to use the code EVAN, and that way you can support me and this channel, and you guys get a 15% discount by doing that. So guys, thank you so much. Like I said, we have two stories that aren't good news. Another one is Behrouz Tabani, who, as you can see in this physique update, looks incredible, looks insane. Like Milo Sharchev, his coach, by the way, says in the comments, that's what bodybuilding is all about, and I couldn't agree more. Look at the freaking waistline, it's non-existent pretty much. Look at the size of those freaking cannonball delts, and just the sheer width of his shoulders, and also look at the freaking glutes, how separated they are, that muscle maturity is just insane also a very very complete bodybuilder with crazy crazy muscle maturity and he's progressing every year and now that he's working with milos he has progressed so much and it looks like we won't see him at the mr olympia even though he's qualified because he's it seems like he's not gonna get the visa unfortunately very very unfortunately this would be such an awesome addition to the Mr. Olympia lineup. As you can see, he's almost ready. He's definitely prepping for the Mr. Olympia. But it looks like, I mean, as the time goes on, it looks like he won't get it. I mean, this is a disaster for the sport. I hope people in charge of IBB will pull some strings or try something uh, for, for somebody to hear about this guy. This amazing bodybuilder that needs to compete at a Mr. Olympia, he's qualified, he, he already won a Mr. Olympic qualifier, I think last year, after the Mr. Olympia, in those uh, uh, shows at the end of the year, he won one of those, I think it was Romania Pro, or, or Fit Parade, I'm not sure, he was battling against Brett Will, can you guys remind me, but he won one of those shows, and he's prepping now, and he looks better than ever, and it looks like it's not gonna happen, if you guys don't know what he looks like on stage, I mean, check this photo out, yeah, this is what he looks like on stage, Look at his freaking muscle maturity. I mean, he's still not, as Louis Marco used to say, out of the oven yet. 
but when he like adds a little bit more tissue uh, on his, I mean everywhere basically, if he gets a little bit bigger and maintains this kind of conditioning, this kind of maturity, these kind of details, uh, I think this guy is like a top 6 material, I mean I feel like he has like all the tools that for example Hari Japan has, even better maybe, even prettier structure, right, like a smaller waist, I think he's a bit taller, he has really good shape, really good looking muscle bellies, everything is just freaking spot on, I mean, it's a, it's a shame, it's a pity that he's not doing the Mr. Olympia, hopefully at some point they will figure it out and he will, he will be able to be in the US to compete there, but yeah, it looks like this year it's not gonna happen, maybe, maybe somehow it's gonna happen, but yeah, it looks like, hmm, I don't know, let's be optimistic, let's believe he's gonna be up there, because Mr. Olympia needs this guy, he needs to be up there and really uh, contribute to this show, because he's an amazing bodybuilder. Anyways, as far as the Italy Pro, like I said, we're gonna be watching Nathan Diasha, Regan Grimes, Blessing of Oribu, and some other guys. So what other guys? I mean, there is a lot of them, a lot of great bodybuilders doing that show. And this is one of them, and I'm sure you guys recognize, Tim Budesheim. And this is him right now, a uh, week and a half out of Italy Pro, and I think he looks better than ever. I think he's bringing something new to the table. I don't think I've ever seen him looking this... Uh, this big, this full in this condition at this point, so yeah, he's definitely gonna bring something crazy, now can he like be a potential winner of this show, I mean, un unless he brings something like out of this world, if he's like, I don't know, 110%, if he's much, much improved, because this guy, he doesn't have the best structure, but he can get conditioned, and as you can see right here, he's in a good condition, but he seems bigger and fuller than ever, so I think he did improve in the offseason, I think he's gonna bring something new and could be a potential threat, uh, I would still not bet on him, it's, it's a very unsafe bet, but I believe him and Blessing of Oribe would be a good comparison, a good battle, I firmly believe that your first call out, a top 2 call out is going to be Nathan Diash and Regan Grimes, and then we could have Blessing of Oribe and this guy battling it out, I mean, Blessing looks good, he improved his conditioning a lot, and I believe he's bringing something much, much better than Chicago, but look at this guy, he's also looking very, very good, he looks like he's gonna bring something awesome, and it's gonna be a good battle, let's wait and see. Oh, and we also got an amazing physique update of Chen Kang, also known as Branch on Instagram, now this guy, look at this, look at his physique, this guy was, I believe, fourth or something like that at the Mr. Olympia, I think 2019, when Chris Bumstead won. Maybe you also remember him from last year's Vancouver Pro, where he won qualified for the Mr. Olympia, but this year he is not qualified. Last year he was out of top 10 at the Mr. Olympia, and now this year, as he says in his post, his plan is to be in that top 10. Now, this is him guest posing at the show where he actually got his pro card and I believe he's prepping for Dubai Pro, so he's gonna try to win his Mr. Olympic qualification over there, and this guy has an amazing physique, super dominant quads, but they're actually flowing quite well with his upper body, even though his legs are much more dominant, he has like big, really big arms, big triceps, and it flows actually quite well, and he has really, really good aesthetics, really good shape, like uh, very, very aesthetic uh, look to his physique, you know, clean skin, he has that, uh, that feel heat type of look, you know, a very clean look, right here he's not in shape yet, but yeah, that's usually his problem, he's never in shape, uh, he can win a Mr. Olympic qualifier even though he's not in shape because he has crazy structure, crazy, crazy muscle bellies, I mean, look at his freaking shots, like, he is really aesthetic, but for the Mr. Olympia, if he wants to do something and be top 10, as he says, he needs to be shredded, and can this guy get shredded? Well, we haven't seen it so far, maybe in the future, I hope so, fingers crossed. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and for more bodybuilding stuff like this, subscribe to this channel, and also if you guys wanna support me and this channel, you can do that by clicking the link in the description of this video, and just browsing the Old School Labs website, and buying any Old School Labs supplements that you like, but make sure you use the code EVAN, which will give you a 50% discount as well, so thank you guys so much, all the best and bye-bye.